Hi everybody, this is Bill Black at Spirit River. What I want to do for you today is show you how to tie an extended body hopper. This is a very fast, very basic hopper. You can fancy it up all you want with different types of wings and that sort of thing. But it's a pretty basic hopper. It's got some rubber legs on it, an extended foam body, and a deer hair head to it. It's actually a bullet head hopper. So, Anyway, let me, uh, let me start with uh, a needle for the extended body. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Got to adjust my vise. Okay, so uh, what I do here is I'm going to leave this thread long and sticking out. And I'm going to take a piece of foam, which I'm cutting a long strip here. Foam needs to be twice as long as you want your body. And I like about three segments of this hanging over the <coughs> out over the end of the hopper shank. So what you do then is you fold it like this, squeeze it, put it right there at the end, and then I'll go around six or eight times. I bring my thread forward, I go back around six or eight times. Bring my thread forward, make sure those are side by side, and I go around six or eight times. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is whip finish it and squeeze it off the hook and if you pull this you can get this a little curvature to it there again I'll, now that that curves on there I'll pull it off okay so let me start with a hook TJ brought me the biggest hook known to man I'm going to readjust my vise a little bit one of the reasons these spirit vices are nice is because they're easy to adjust. Oops. Okay. Base of thread, as always. I head towards the back here, right to about the point. I go ahead and lay this over the top. I'm going to have to go back a little bit farther. So you want to mat, basically match those segments. Now I'm going to go forward. And again, I'm going to match those segments. Feel free to tweak it and torque it a little bit. Now's your chance. I go forward with the hook. There you go. And maybe one more. Tons of flotation. Now, I've also got a piece of um, turkey here. Perhaps, if I can find it. And the turkey you can use, here it is, you can use a bit of this turkey. <clears throat> this is um, some of the old enhanced turkey that we did. Uh, we no longer sell it, but I've taken it and sprayed it with lacquer, so it's very stout. And what you can do is you can just kind of go in here and clip yourself out a piece. And if we get more requests, we could go back to making this, but it's got an absolute beautiful pearl blue finish and one of the reasons I like that is I think it adds a bit of UV-ness to it and adds some color so anyway you go ahead and fold it in half and cut it so that you've got a bit of a V to it you can lay that right up over the top
Now we're going to take a piece of deer hair. Pretty good chunk of deer hair. Strip out all that um, fuzz body hair on the bottom of it. Uh, the insulation basically that keeps the deer warm. I'm going to go ahead and stack it. You don't really need to do that, but it makes the fly appear much nicer and neater. And what I'm going to try to do with 6 aught thread is I'm going to try to put this deer hair on here without breaking my thread, which is a, going to be a feat if I can pull it off. <clears throat> so I get, I get my um, hair prepped and I go in right now and I just clip the bottom of it. Lay that on there. See how far? Yep, I've got it right up to the head, to the eye of the hook. That's good. Now I'm going to make sure that it's tied down nice and stout. Then I head back towards where I tied the wing in. I pull all that material. Do it a couple times. Make sure you get all those hairs. You're always going to have a few loose hairs sticking out of the head. Awesome. <clears throat> what I like to do is I also like to go in here right about now and I just clip a little bit underneath and that kind of shows that body of that hopper a little bit better. I've got some of our dancing legs that I clipped out in preparation for this fly. Um, we've also got legs on a stick which make really nice knotted legs. I tie that on each side. I take this and I cut the uh, the ones in front are a little shorter, the ones in the back I leave longer. Now's the time to adjust it because you're going to put a drop of glue on it. don't have to put too much of a whip finish on there because again I'm going to go back in there clean this up and then put a drop of glue right there in the middle again adjust your legs the way you want them take your super glue pull all that hair back you can just watch that stuff get absorbed it's also nice if you want to put a little bit on your head uh, just adds to the durability of this. Uh, you can put a little bit of under under if you want. But if you look at this fly, you're going to see um, right here where I clipped it. Uh, so that shows the body a whole lot better. Anyway, that is a Bullet Head Spirit River Hopper. Uh, again, this is Bill Black at Spirit River. Thanks for watching another boring fly tying video. And uh, come to our website, please. Buy our products, please. Support us, please. Take care. Thanks.